Gilbert Florian knows all too well the limits of life in the former communist East Germany. As an aspiring journalist in the GDR, he spent two years in an East German Stasi prison. His crime, documenting an East Berlin underground punk scene deemed subversive by the authorities. The GDR always had this mortal fear of everything that was different, even of tiny discrepancies or tiny bits of criticism. The collapse of the Berlin Wall in 1989 changed all that, and amid the newfound political freedoms, in came artists in its wake. Jim Avignon was among those who saw East Berlin as a sort of canvas for his own first draft of history. I was painting in characters what happened at that time. So you could see like businessmen taking over the East. I painted the Brandenburger Gate with a McDonald's sign. Berlin was open for business, but it was also suddenly just bigger. And in buildings and factories once intended for the communist proletariat came pop-up clubs, bars, galleries, and studios. Musician Paul Frick was among those who rushed in to embrace the scene. Uh, with this experience of suddenly living in a way bigger city and exploring it all, and as Berlin, is, the space of Berlin is pretty huge, so it takes just many, many years, I mean, to really discover it. A new exhibit called No Cell Phones on the Dance Floor explores the spirit and excess of those times, a politically disorienting period when the dance floor provided a rare opportunity for East and West Germans to meet on equal terms, a place, says the exhibit's curator, for Germans to unify without actually talking about reunification. We just have to imagine if uh, North and South Korea would go now together and uh, all the young people would dance to a new kind of music world. And, uh, and this was what was happened in the early 90s in Berlin. That spirit is still alive, even now. On a recent Friday night, it's a band from Russia, from Moscow, that draws crowds to a club near where the wall once stood. 30 years on, Berlin remains a vital link between East and West, only now it brims with possibilities, not limits. A city that suggests whatever side you're from, Sometimes we all need to let ourselves go. Charles Maines for VOA News, Berlin.